Hi everybody, it's me again and this is my new <laughs> video and I have my guest here which is so far behaving today <laughs> but she couldn't miss of course and today I wanted to show you again something different not only just different brands than Louis Vuitton but uh, also some authentic bags mixed with wraps so here we go and yes I was lazy or I was not lazy but it's again dark because uh, yesterday I was uploading one uh, the video the last video I made and I was waiting till 4 a.m. hoping that it will upload and then it dropped you know uh, it was it was horrible so then I went when then I just gave up and went to sleep and surprisingly <laughs> it, it really uploaded during the time I was sleeping but yeah I went to sleep at 4 a.m. or half past 4 a.m. so it is quite late now so let's start let's start you see I have this one here this one this one this one and this one and this one so <clears throat> Let's start with these two because then this is really interesting. These two bags are almost completely same. The only difference, which you probably noticed, uh, is that this is leather and this is canvas. And this one, this is leather, but this is leather too. And as, as you see, it's Christian Dior. And I bought uh, this bag. I bought used, pre-loved. And it is authentic. Uh, when I was like into smaller bags yet. When I was into smaller bags yet. Uh, I fit all my needs in such a cute little bag. Uh, there should be a little uh, like pocket which you can put here uh, it's not like magnetic but something like this I don't know how to say it in English right now and uh, you can adjust the strap as you see and it's cute little bag and then I saw pre-loved on like, some local check website I saw this one and it is extremely hard I don't know why but it's hard for me at least to find white bag, not off-white, because beige or something like that, cream, but to find a white bag to match with white, and not just off-white, uh, which is beautiful. I don't know. It's I don't know why, but I feel like they don't make <laughs> beautiful white bags, you know. It's always cream or um, something where I don't like. So, yeah. So, this one, I, I bought it, and when it came because I have this one and I know this is authentic I opened it <clears throat> I, I totally believed that it's real and when I opened it I found out that there are differences and this one is probably fake it's probably a replica uh, it looks like it's it's really tight and I'm, I don't know if I can show you inside with one hand but the interior lining is loosey. You can take it out like this. Which on the other back, in the black one, you can't. I'll show you. If I can. Here, everything is like tight. It's impossible to... And, and the lining is different. See this? With the uh, typical Christian Dior... Uh, motif inside and here the lining is just cotton and there's nothing on it and it's a little bit dirty I, it was used and then I used it and it's really old and also this is the inside stamping and you see 
you see this, yeah, it's messy, it's all bag, and so I don't use it anymore for many years, but you see the stamping is like a giveaway, <laughs> yeah, so it's not real, but, oh yeah, also, uh, this plate looks like, uh, I made it dirty a little bit, but it's like a little bit matte finish, as you see. And whether oh, on this one, it is it is dirty from my hand too, but you can see that it's like uh, shiny, the metal. So yeah, it has the same, and it came with the little pocket, which this one didn't. It came with a little pocket you can attach here. And I think overall, this is a really good wrap. <laughs> Actually, it, it really fooled me. I didn't know that much, you know, about bags. I was just like uh, comparing the pictures, this one and this one. And, you know, I think it's really good wrap. Maybe even this D-ring. Here's a little bit rounded, and here is like D, the shape. But it's, it's as I said, it's really, really well made, and it, it can fool, <laughs> yeah, it fooled me at the time. But the price for both uh, was like, I don't know, was like around $100, this one, and this one was uh, like maybe 150 at the time, and this one was like 100 or something like that, and... So, yeah, why not? <laughs> I like the bag, still. I don't use it because it's too small for me now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my God. Yeah. But I still like the bag. So, let's go to the other one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you hear my cat? Like, <sighs> she clearly... She's jealous, yeah. So, let's start with this one. You saw this bag in my videos, probably, maybe. At least, like, one. Or when I was taking pictures to... Uh, to compare the canvas color uh, of replicas I have. And authentic, which is this one. It is Papillon, or Papillon, whatever you want to pronounce it, so I will pronounce it Papillon because, yeah, mostly people will pronounce it like that, and I know it's wrong, so yeah, <laughs> so forgive me. So this is authentic Papillon 20, 25, 26, now I'm confused a little bit, either this or that, <laughs> it's either 25 centimeters or, oh my god, my knees are dying. Need my straddle position again. Yeah, straddle. <laughs> I'm not gonna show more. Uh, and I got new socks, colorful <laughs> socks. You can see. Oh my god, I hope you didn't see my hairy leg. So, yeah, it is authentic. And as you see, it is. it has a dark patina already. I bought it for a quite good price at the time. It was like two hundred dollars, about, which was yeah, which was quite a good price. I would prefer because I like light patina. I like just a little bit, little little patina, like beige or something. I like it looks like more clean to me, and this one is a little bit too too much for me. But it's not the black, you know, as I see on some bags, used, pre-loved. Some people like that, but not me. I don't, yeah, you see, it's like, the glazing is rubbing and everything. And, yeah. And, yeah. I, I like the light patina more. But the bag was in really good condition. You see the zipper, zipper full. It, it still looks good. You can see it's matte. It's not really tarnished. And it works smooth even with one hand. But I will hold it a little bit. Inside is just like black, uh, like brown hole. hole. 
but it quite fits a lot. I think it should come with a small one, the same bag, same papillon, same 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 shape, but small. And I didn't get this one, but it was my first authentic bag and I really really like it. Yeah, I'll try to do a close up on the canvas. Yeah, and the sides. And if I will not be lazy and if I will wake up enough early to uh, have sunshine, sunlight, uh, I will try to make another uh, video comparing, comparing not just pictures, but uh, comparing uh, the canvas with the wraps I have. This one. This one is from Sam. Uh, I really wanted this bag in bigger size and I have it. I bought it later. But first I found this one and I saw it in black. I saw it in this color. It's like beige. Beige or uh, light brown. And I really like the style. It looks beautiful. It was beautifully packaged, the chain has weight to it, and it's such a cute bag. I was only, because it's, it's like a mini bag, look at my hand, or look at my head, you know. Yeah, so you see, <laughs> you see the size of the bag. It's not, it's not a big bag, but if you have just like phone and some little stuff, you can fit it in. And you can wear it like this. And you can wear it like it was before. There is a loop. You see here. Here. Where you put this end with the beautiful flower on it. I love this. And look at how thick it is. It is really well made. This is the inside stamping which is not really possible to see much because of the lighting and because it's gold, of course. And this is the inside. It even has, I think it should have a D ring somewhere or no. Yeah, it, it is. It has for the strap where you clip the strap. One is here and one is here. So you can remove the strap and wear it as a like top handle or yeah on your arm like this or in your hand or you can <coughs> sorry or you can uh it's adjustable the strap and you can wear it as a shoulder bag more of a shoulder bag but i tried the crossbody too and it wasn't yeah it was possible as a crossbody too. It is a beautiful bag. <laughs> I love it. It's just like yes, it was it's smaller than I was expecting, but it's really good bag, it's really good quality. It has a feet on the bottom with the proper stamping, everything. It is really nice. Yeah. So let's go to the other ones. So this one. <coughs> oh my god. This one is, <laughs> I put a pillow inside, which I tried to take out. This is also, it's authentic bag. It is Michael Kors. And I will try to show you. Uh, Michael Kors, Kors Marina, Marina Toad or something like that. Marina probably, of course, because of these handles. Because they look like uh, the rope which is used on the boats and here you see oh my god I forgot how you call it in, in, in English I know the word but I just can't remember now and it's here and it's on the other side too here on one side in all in both sides of the bag on, on one side it, it is here and here. So 
so this is the beautiful plate I'll try to focus yeah and I was I'm really like sad uh, because I love the bag I use it only once because of of course even if you're careful uh, if you if you take the bag into your hand and go somewhere, it gets dirty so quickly and so easily. It is all made of really thick canvas, like cotton, linen, something like that material. And you can also like make the bag smaller. You can like clip, you know, the button. Uh, there is a snap button, but button. <laughs> Oh my god here so you can close it and make the bag smaller from the sides but you see if I focus you see this here you know every like dust everything gets on it really quickly and I started in a dust bag I took it only once or maybe twice and yeah but I think it would be possible if you if yeah to wash it in a washing machine for sure because I even washed even canvas bags and like that and leather leather stuff so shoes whatever you can wash everything so yeah <coughs> oh, message is starting again great so this is the inside it's quite big and there's a stain I guess it was there before because I really didn't use the bag. Yeah, oh, oh, it has the color like this. Oh, yeah, it's like salt and pepper, we call it. This is the inside, and it has the pockets on each side. It's a zipper pocket here. I guess it's something like a glue there. But I bought it as a new one, so it was not me. <laughs> There's another pocket here, another here. Yeah. Here and here, and I love the bag. It's beautiful. <clears throat> okay, excuse me again. Okay, so let's go to the last one. Seventy minutes. Oh my god, I'm I'm so sorry. I just like to tell the stories behind the bags. You know, <laughs> I think it's like more interesting than the bag itself sometimes <laughs> yeah <clears throat> this is crazy i really need to stop smoking it's killing me yeah literally so uh this is a gucci soho tote and it is like 4a quality it's not the highest one if you go one to five it's not five five a it's like four it's it's not like triple a the middle one it is real leather and it's almost almost perfect but there are still some differences so i make it like 4a yeah <coughs> yeah what i what, what i just said oh my god so this is the ggs on it and of course this is the biggest issue with gucci wraps or at least uh soho wraps with the logos because no, it seems like nobody has it completely right nobody i've seen i've seen really good bags good wraps but nobody has it completely right it has this beautiful tassel and this seems to be issue <laughs> to replicate too because I've seen yeah there are differences it shouldn't be that sharp the points on it and so but it's nice it's cute and I have it stuffed I use it only once and it is quite a big bag it's a tote so yeah there is the inside pocket and I think yeah there are pockets inside on the other side and it fits a lot there is beautiful clasp with the proper stamping if it focuses give me a second yeah you see it somehow so somewhat you can see it i guess i'll try to do it like that yeah and it's really like 
you know, sturdy, good quality. Where you clip it here, the D ring is really good quality too. It's not a cheap metal or plastic. But what I don't like on this bag, uh, it makes it really difficult to use, is uh, is the chains. Because yeah, you see, the chains are always like twisting or getting stuck, and they are connected like uh, they are not separated. The chain on the front from the chain on the back. And, uh, you know, it slides, you know, to the side. It's never centered. I don't know. It's maybe not just the bag for me. But I like the look of it. I like how it looks like. And I like how it smells. It is really nice leather. And really nice look, yeah. But not really practical bag. <laughs> not for me. So, <coughs> these were some of my other bags. Oh, my cat is nice again. And <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope I'm going to upload it tonight. And if you have any questions, I'll leave my IG. i leave my email in the description. And ask me whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. Just like, yeah. No hating, no trolling. I have really enough of this in my life. Okay, <laughs> have a good time. Thank you for support and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.